connecting the income statement and balance sheet. Income statements begin with sales revenue. When a company sells its products, it earns cash. If the sales are made on credit terms, accounts receivables are generated. Both cash and receivables are recorded as assets in the balance sheet. In order to sell the product, it has to be produced, and for that, a firm incurs operating costs. There are costs incurred in buying and maintaining raw materials, work in process and finished goods. These items show up as inventory on the assets side of a balance sheet. Some supplies are purchased on credit, so the company generates accounts payables as part of the operating cycle. Inventory is an asset, and accounts payable a liability. Depreciation is the wear and tear on fixed assets, which is expensed off each year. Fixed assets are shown net of depreciation in the balance sheet. In the same way, amortization expense is incurred on intangible assets. Expenses are also incurred on account of selling, distribution and administrative costs. If these payments are paid on a credit basis, they show up in accounts payable. Otherwise the company makes provisions for such payments. Both accounts payable and provisions show up as liabilities in the balance sheet. Interest has to be paid on short-term and long-term borrowings, both of which are liabilities on the balance sheet. A company may earn non-operating income in addition to its sales income. This typically takes the form of interest and dividends earned from current investments. Provision for tax payments have to be made in the liabilities side of the balance sheet. Net profit belongs to shareholders. After dividends are paid out from net profit, the remaining amount goes to reserves and surplus on the liabilities side of a balance sheet. Dividends are not an expense, so they do not show up in the income statement. A provision for dividend to be paid is shown in the liabilities side of the balance sheet. Let us just summarize all these connections in a single diagram that links items in the income statement with the items that are impacted on the balance sheet.